Okay guys, it's Jay from the Craft Whiskey Boys and it is that time of year when a friend, family member, a loved one, someone in your family that loves whiskey, you're looking to get them a gift, this is the video to watch. I'm gonna go inside here, it's a specialty store because we're looking to get whiskies for under 50 pounds and I'm gonna pick an American, I'm gonna pick an Irish, and I'm gonna pick a Scotch and I think I'm gonna do a better job than my own, sorry. One of the best whiskies I know in 50 pounds. All right, so choice number one is going to be the Hazelburn single malt, 10 year old, triple distilled peated scotch. So, a bit unique, bit different. You're not going to get this everywhere. It's a very kind of select, which is why we are in the specialty whiskey shop. It is a specialty whiskey. I'm really excited to try this. Um, it's saying down here at 62. I had the guy check the price. It's actually, uh, what, what did the price come in at again for this one? Uh, 42 50. 42.50. So, it's under the 50. It's a winner all the way through. See if Moan and Sully can beat that. Okay, so I'm here at Richmond High Street uh, looking for the best whiskies I can find under 50 pounds. You know the categories, but once more, we're going for an Irish whiskey, a Scotch whiskey, and a bourbon. First stop is Tesco's, and let's see what they have to offer. <laughs> So, scotch-wise, I'm going to go for the Ockentoshan. Um, unlike other scotches out there, which are normally uh, double distilled, this is triple distilled, so it gives a much of a smoother finish. It is actually aged in an ex-bourbon uh, cask, oak as well. Um, so really kind of vanilla-y, kind of coconut essence that comes out from it. So, but more importantly, it's only bloody 20 quid. We as well. So yeah, we've had Jay in a specialist whiskey shop. Mo on the high street, feel a bit bad for him. He's gonna struggle, I assume, but I'm gonna go online. I am an advocate for, uh, you know, specialist whiskey shops, but I'm also quite lazy. Right, simple Google search, whiskey. I've done it without the E, sorry people. So it's quite cool in uh, Masters of Malt, if you guys haven't heard of it, pretty good website. Ardberg, Port Charlotte 10. Mm. Buna Habin 12. I like the bottle, it's black. I haven't actually had this one before. So an entry level Buna Habin. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Um, yeah, I like the sound of that. Sherried finish. All right, I'm gonna put that in my basket. Easy. It's great, I'm gonna be done with this very quickly so I can get back to watching uh, videos on YouTube of kittens. So, scotch is done. Moving on to the Irish. It's a shame we're not doing Japanese. Oh. All right, we got our Irish here. Oh, <laughs> just on half the price. That would always be, this will always be my number one choice. The best Irish whiskey by a country mile. There's nothing that even compares at this point, uh, except for hopefully what we're producing. But anyway, it's over the price point, so we can't go with that one. It's gonna be my choice for Ireland. 12 year old, when you look at their 15 year old, it's over 100 quid. So for an extra three years maturation, you're getting this for 40 quid. I've tasted, not this one, I've tasted the 15 and it's great. So we'll see what the 12's like. It's rum cask finish, so we'll see if we can beat the boys. Now we need to find ourselves an Irish. So we're looking at going to Whole Foods and see if they do anything now in terms of whiskey. Otherwise we've got a couple other places up our sleeves. Elijah Craig is yeah. not the easiest one to find. No, it's lovely as well. That's probably, good yeah, probably thinking of that. I think I'll just go for, for the Elijah Craig then. Yeah, Can I just grab it? Yep. Cheers, yeah, no thank you. Enjoy. Cheers, thank you very much. Sancha. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas. All right, so that's two down now. We've got ourselves a Scotch from Tesco's and the Elijah Craig small batch from uh, Whole Foods, which is actually quite a good find. It's not necessarily something that's quite easy to get on the high street. Um, as well as that, I think it was at £48.95, so just under the limit there. One more to go, Irish, and presumably the hardest to find, obviously. And let's see what we can do. <laughs> Cut that creepy laugh out. <laughs> and now I'm going to look for an Irish whiskey. Irish have their own category with single malt, single pot still, and blended. So we're not going to go for any blended or any grains. Uh, I'm already pretty sure I know what I'm going to get, because 
I ran out of Redbreast 12 the other day, so I might as well buy myself a gift under £50. Um, I don't think we need to look any further, but just below is uh, Middleton Method of Madness single pot still, which is also very nice. Uh, slightly out of my budget at 59.63. Uh, so I've got my Irish whiskey. That was easy for me. It's one of my favourite whiskies, Red Breast 12. Uh, it's a great whiskey to to give to someone who's never had or not never had whiskey, but they're not you know into whiskey yet. So it's a good gateway whiskey uh, for the whiskey noob. We got a waitrose next, so fingers crossed. <laughs> It's really a shame, you know. Irish whiskey is probably my favourite in terms of uh, what's out there, but um, it's very hard to find, especially in your high streets, uh, other than your typical Teelings and Jamesons. And uh, you know, I'm not going to present that to the group, but it seems like I'm copping off a little bit there. It's quite sad. Ooh, wild card behind. See, I've had Slane before, actually. I think we met the guys at one of the whiskey festivals we've been to. It's not bad at all. I don't think they'd expect me to choose this as well. I think they have a pretty typical view of what I normally go for, and it's explicitly clear what I do like, your green spots, uh, your red breasts, but I have a funny feeling that's probably what Solomon or Jay's gone for, so. This wouldn't be thought about. Let's see what the guys think of this. I'm gonna go with Slane. So I've just come out of Waitrose, got my bottle of Slane whiskey. My race on my brow, seeing as it's a blended, but uh, in terms of what's on offer out there on the high street, yeah, there's not much going in Irish whiskey. I have tried Slane before. I do know the boys do like a sherry finish. And this is triple casks as well. So uh, looking forward to seeing what they've chosen and uh, hope we haven't uh, mixed up at all. <laughs> Cheers. So now I'm gonna pick my American whiskey, which is actually gonna be, I'm just gonna go for straight bourbon because I'm a simple man and I like simple things. Remember my budget is uh, under 50 pounds. So the top one is Woodford Double Oak and that's 54.95, so a little bit out. I know what I'm gonna go for, I think. It's, I know it's one of Mo's favorites, uh, bourbon. Good entry level, Basil Hayden's. Lovely bottle for a 50 pound, uh, 50 pound bottle of whiskey. It's a very fancy bottle. Um, never judge a book by its cover, but it is quite a nice whiskey as well. All right, so jumping into the, check, the basket, guys going to check out. I've got three whiskies under 50, which was the, uh, you know, you know, gifting whiskies, gateway whiskies. So I've got a Bunner Habin 12, which is a single malt from Isla. Uh, Redbreast 12, which is a single pot still made at New Middleton Distillery, which is obviously where they make Jameson and all that. And a Basil Hayden's bourbon, it's straight bourbon. Uh, my basket total is 125.84. Check out. Not losing this. <laughs> Not that it was punk. <laughs> Irish is done, Scotch is done, on to the bourbons. Let's go American. Well, not bourbons, American, Mike O'Reilly. Okay, so these are my two final choices. I gotta pick which one. They're both under 50. This rye, rye is obviously normally a lot spicier on the mouth, but it's quite smooth in the front palate. So it's quite a good option. Maybe this one. See if we can win with this. The best Irish, Scottish, and American. Under 50. Unfortunately, there was a few there that I was nearly going to come and ask you to discount from three quid down to 50 so I could have bought it because there were some beautiful ones. So, I got my three whiskies. I think I'll do pretty well. Only wild card for me that I'm unsure that might not win might be the bourbon. Uh, but I think I'm going to get them with the Elijah Craig. Should have probably went for the Knob Creek Rye. I should have done that. Doesn't matter. Went with the Elijah Craig. Let's see if that wins. Definitely gonna win. Maybe, and no, I won't win on the Irish because I know where Sully's gonna buy. Um, but I will win on the Scotch. You guys ain't gonna come close to me. <laughs> okay, we are back and we've been shopping. I went to a specialty whiskey store. I hit the high street and I stayed at home. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Well, firstly, I must say, you know, I regret being so. Uh, Happy to go on the high street. Obviously, it doesn't, oh, kind of offer, doesn't <laughs> offer the opportunities you can find. What'd you get, mate? I got something quite interesting. Let's so, see. firstly, 
We're gonna start with Irish because it was the hardest. We got Slade. A blend. Now I know it's a blended whiskey. <laughs> Alright, put it up. But it is triple cast and it's finished in a sherry cask and we all are a bit partial to the sherry finish. So for that reason I went with Slane. So next I got Yok and Toshin. This is one of my personal favourites. Really, really cheap on the high street for 20 quid in Tesco's. It's the Oakwood. And lastly, that's a very cheap single malt. Uh, single malt. Is that their triple distilled? They're normally triple distilled. Oh, triple distilled. Yeah, it's all triple so if you're a Scotch that's triple distilled, that's the one to go Interesting for. Interesting to go for a triple distilled Scotch. Yeah. Hmm. I like it. I like it. A wild card <laughs> in there. And what I'm really happy about in Whole Foods, I managed to find myself an Elijah Craig small batch. That's not really a high street whiskey, though. No, that's what I mean. It's a very good choice, though. You know, you know, you <laughs> Surprisingly good that. choice. Less, wouldn't necessarily find that on high street. All right, what'd you get? I got Moe's favorite bourbon. Oh, what did I say? I said, someone, I said Moe's favorite bourbon. It was Sully. I got Jay's second favorite Irish whiskey. Because you can't get his favorite under 50. So I, this is one of his ones yeah, that he writes you can get under 50. 50. That, I was going to go for that, but I, I did say Sully was going to get that. I also got it because I wanted it for myself. And finally, Bunnahabin 12, which I've never had before, but I like the look of the bottle. That's a good choice. All right, what did I get? So I went to the specialty store, yeah. shopped online, stayed at home, high street. Ooh, so I'll go with Scotch first. Yep. With Scotch, I, Scotch, I went for the Hazelburn. I also went for a triple distilled. At mm. uh, age 10 years, quite a unique whiskey. Uh, lightly peated, so this is gonna be, I believe, the winner. Uh, but we'll see, we'll taste. But this, this is a great whiskey all in all. Uh, considering, when you compare it, for example, to the Akintoshan, uh, it's matured a lot longer. Um, and it was like 65 quid, but they reduced. They had a reduction on to 40 something, so it was a great one. Next I got, in Ireland, I went for the Gelson's 12 year old. Because I was at a specialty shop, um, I was gonna go, obviously, for the Red Breast. I was gonna go for the Powers John's Lane, which I love. I was gonna go for the Green Spa Chateau Love of Barbon, but we all know those, so I went so slightly out of the box, and you can't get most of them under 50, so I went for the Gelson's, and I didn't want to pick what you thought I'd get. What happened with the bourbon? With the bourbon? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I also went for the Elijah Craig. <laughs> Uh, so we went for the same one. So I guess we're going to taste and see what wins. I'm going to guess that this one. This is a really good bourbon for under 50. You're not going to beat it really. It's the king of bourbons for under 50 in my opinion. Oh, brilliant. And I've got to say, you had the whole wide web and you went for three three choices right there. Like I chose a bit more experimental. On visuals. I I mine shot. takes it for yeah. the way they look. How am I going to mark the Basil Haydens down? I swear by it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut back in a minute. We're going to taste them all. So you'll see a little bit of fast forward. Taste them all and then let you know which one, three are the winners. So if you're going to buy a gift for your father, your brother, your sister, your mother, anybody that you want to get, we're going to tell you the best Scotch, the best bourbon, and the best Irish. Not specifically these three. No, we already <laughs> identified this. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start with the Irish because it is traditionally a milder whiskey. Do you want to start with mine and then work down this way? Yes, do All that, right, definitely. We'll do quick. We're going to score each one, so we'll probably get fast forwarded through, so brace yourself. Cheers. All right, we're going to score these out of five. So every whiskey all nine out of five and then give you our best. So we're going for the slain. So blended, so I already anticipate what the scores are going to be on this one, but you know, can't go wrong. Well, it's, it's darker. Sure. Actually, I like it. <laughs> Weak finish though. Weak finish, but obviously the, the, the amount of grain makes it a bit more palatable. Um, still, it's it's good drink and whiskey. It's a good drink and whiskey, but you'd, yeah, it's more cocktail based, but it's still, a, you know, you could sip it. Next, under yours, Sully, the, my, fav my second favorite Irish whiskey, probably sometimes my favorite. It was a bit cheating for me, to be fair, because I know my ones are going to get scored high. The Bunnahabham, I don't know if you guys have had it before. I actually have I it. took a few risks. You didn't take any risks. So I'll go my scotch first. We're going to go to Hazelburn. Uh, slightly peated, but not a whole lot. Triple distilled, very unlike a normal scotch. Let me just pour a little bit into each one and then just rinse, just rinse those guys just because of the Irish that was in it. Oh, it's a perfect amount. For, for those of you that love your heavily peated Islas and your Lafroigs and all that, then this is probably not, it'll still be for you, but it's like a, a step down where it's just way more delicate, way nicer. So much more accessible. Mm. People are really scared of peaty whiskies because of that smoke, you know, that, that really combines a nice finish to it. Pour a small amount on the next one, yeah? Yeah, it's starting to feel it. <laughs> From the Ocean, it's triple distilled in Scotland, which is a rare thing. See it quite a bit with uh, Irish whiskey, of course. Uh, had it just now with the hazel burn, so. It's, it's very delicate. Easy. Very easy. 
Bunnerhaben, single malt from Isla. It's their entry level, I think. Well, that's a bit of me, that. All right, this is gonna be quick because we only have two bourbons to try. <laughs> Whew. Getting pretty wavy. Now, good idea at this point in time when we're gonna go for such a drastic change. So, so what we're gonna do, guys, is uh, a trick is you can smell there, smell anywhere. Just you just smell your own armpit, you'd be fine. But yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, are you gonna shower? Oh, yeah, are you, are you gonna shower? I don't believe in deodorant. <laughs> I do. Uh, Tell them I smell no, good. Tell them I smell good. It it's natural. <laughs> it's, not. it's my original scent. Uh, all right, we're gonna go over the Elijah Craig first. Now we could sit here and give you, we don't have enough time in this video to give you the kind of the rundown on all these whiskeys. We'll do it in a separate video, give you kind of the background. Um, but yeah, they call it, what do they call it? The, uh, the father of bourbon. But Elijah Craig is a great bourbon. I've had this before, so I know what I'm about to taste, yeah. but. Uh, it's nice. It's really nice. Yeah, it's just. There's not, enough, there's not a whole lot of spice in the back palate, which you don't want. When you, when you have a heavy oaked whiskey, the last thing you want is then a big spice kick at the back as well. Um, it's really nice the way it doesn't do that. Basil oh, Hayden. It's Mo's favorite bourbon. So you can't go wrong can't, with it. I kind of cheated. You can't, you just can't go wrong with it. You can't. It's you got to score it fair. It's beautiful. Cheers, last one. Woo, nine whiskeys later. In Jesus, what, I, need five to, minutes? I need to have a coffee now, otherwise <laughs> I... We, didn't, we actually only did a sip of each one, so it's not really... I, I drank most of mine. All right, so the results are in in my, uh, in my chicken scribble. We have, we basically scored all these whiskeys out of five on what we thought, and we're gonna move forward what we believe. Now look, some of these are more affordable than others. Like this is only a 20 pound whiskey, whereas this might be, you know, a 45 pound whiskey. So you can make your decision based on that. They're all great whiskeys. Uh, so Moe's probably the most cost effective across the board because he went to the high street. I went to a specialty store, mine were a little bit more pricey and same with Sully, he had a choice of everything online. What won out of the Irish? The Irish that won, we all voted. Gelson got 11, point, 11 points out of 15. Slain got 8.5 points out of 15. But Redbreast got 14.5 points out of 15, nearly a perfect score. That's your best under 50 according to us. So it's, also, it's also one of the, the best whiskeys you can buy. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're gonna get someone if, an Irish whiskey, you can't go wrong with Redbreast yeah. 12 year old. Next, in the Scottish category, Hazel, Hazelburn here got 13 points out of 15. Then we had the Ockentoshan, which got 10 and a half points out of 15. And then we had the Bonahabin, which got 10 points out of 15. So the winner, by a bit of a bigger margin, would be Hazelburn on the Scotch. Single malt, triple distilled, slightly peated, unbelievably gorgeous whiskey. I can't wait to drink that later, actually. That was the nicest whiskey of all of them that I tried. In about five minutes. And they had about two seconds. Yeah. That's the nicest whiskey out of all these so far, I believe. Red Breast is right up there with it. Out of the Americans, we only had two to choose from because me and him picked the same. <laughs> So we had the Elijah Craig and we had the Basil. Elijah Craig got 12 and a half points out of 15 and the Basil got 12 points out of 15. So they're very close, but the winner is the Elijah. So there are your three champions for the best whiskies between the Irish, the Scottish and the American categories under 50 quid that we decided upon. So if you want to use them for Christmas, buy them for some people, why not? Dude, We're not getting anything out of it. We know nobody in these companies. Nobody's given us anything. Uh, at all, we literally don't know these people, so. We just love the whiskey. We just thank you. We're taking but, um, nothing away from everything here today. One thing, if you're good. buying the whiskey for someone who's not into whiskey, get them that. Because it's. Because it's different. Everyone, everyone likes it. Yeah, that's, if they're that's, trying to get into whiskey, this is a great. They're trying to get into whiskey. This is, this is probably the best whiskey of all the whiskeys. This is a really, really good sipping whiskey, especially if they like scotch and you want it under 50 quid. That's, that's a phenomenal. What's interesting as well, in America, what you're seeing a lot these days, to actually sway bourbon drinkers away to the Irish. They're predominantly given them slain as well. So it's, it's a blended, it's a blend. yes, but let's work every aspect into it. Just because it's a blend. Work yours in because you picked it. Yeah, yeah sorry. I still I'll, think, honestly, with what I was left to it. Let's just stick with what we want to make. Most score still, on every it's whiskey. Still, it's still <laughs> worth a shout. Absolutely. It is, no, it is. It's blended, it tastes Merry good. Christmas. Okay, so listen, real quick, before you go, please subscribe, like, uh, we've got loads more videos. If you like it, comment below. We'll absolutely respond to your comments. And if you want more of this, we'll be glad to give it to you. Not that way, like I said before. You know what I mean. Well, what should we have chosen? What do you mean, what should we have chosen? <laughs> what whiskeys we should have chosen? I think we chose them. They have thought whiskeys we could have chosen. Who? Under you mean 50. What? You want them to comment? I'm yeah. sure there's some people out there that would have thought maybe proper 12. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Merry Christmas from Craft Whiskey Boys. Thank you.